Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Pops Productions Tech. Today I have with me the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime and today I'm going to show you how to bypass Google Lock on this device. Okay, so obviously uh, you decided to wipe your device but then you forgot your Google account and now you're wondering how am I going to bypass this? Well, on the Galaxy Grand Prime, fortunately, it's very simple to bypass this. So here's a rundown of what we're going to do. We're going to connect to our Wi-Fi network and then you're going to install Samsung Side Sync on your device. Um, so just ensure that you have it installed. It's very simple to install. Just download it and install it. I'll link I have all the links in the description. And uh, just open it up and ensure that you are on this screen. So now what we are going to do is connect to our Wi-Fi. Connect. Yes, and obviously today we will need uh, our PC in order to get this done. So ensure that you have side sync. So what's going to happen now when you connect it, you will be getting a prompt asking you to if you'd like to open Chrome or Internet or Galaxy apps. That's because you do not have side sync installed on the device. So now it's asking you to get side sync installed. So this is the trick that we're going to use. We're going to go on to our Internet app which would allow us to visit my site where I have a few files linked and um, it will allow us to download a file in order for us to enter our settings and then um, be able to unlock the bootloader from there. Just decline this for now. So I'm going to connect my USB. Okay. Um, oh wait, the prompt, it will be here anytime so you can see it now. Um, so I'm um, sorry I wasn't going to select Chrome because Chrome doesn't um, allow me to achieve what I want to but ensure that you have side sync installed remember you must have the screen open here um, let me do this again so do not select Chrome because I don't like the version that it has um, so I'm going to select internet instead and now visit this site I'm going to have the link on screen as well Okay, so this is the link here and you're going to tap go uh, let's see I hope I typed in the correct thing okay that's it okay just very simple to Okay, so here you can see, well, there are many files. I added files here for anyone to use. If you are on Android Nougat, Marshmallow, Lollipop, um, if you'd like to use this app, Quick Shortcut Maker, but you know today we're going to use this app, Samsung FRP Bypass, and you're going to download this. Very small file, and you're going to save. Okay, um, so here's what we're going to do. I said earlier that we are not going to use twop um, sorry we are not going to use chrome but then here's what we'll have to copy the link and go back into chrome and we're going to download it from there and then we have to return to this browser so you see how tricky the process is with with uh, frp bypass it's a very tricky process when you have to find the different methods and, and so on so let's do this again so i'm going to disconnect my cable Reconnect and I'm going to go to Chrome. So let's go to Chrome first and then we'll go over to the Samsung browser So again the same link So I'm visiting the same link, but this time on top bit on Chrome. Sorry. I Always keep mentioning to for some reason. I am not sure maybe because I use it all the time But anyway, let's open in browser and let's go to uh, Samsung and download so it will download in Chrome it will download in Chrome um, so if you see save file you won't get any feedback but if you tap again you will see that um, it has already saved the file here you can see it's already there so let's now go back I'm going to disconnect my cable from here instead and connect it again let's go to internet okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to bookmarks and go to um, download history frp 
settings and unknown sources and i'm going to install this app decline again open and scroll all the way down go to about device and scroll again tap build number multiple times to enable develop options go back uh, go to develop options now as the option is now there and select oem unlocking which would unlock the bootloader and then of course remove the frp lock or google lock as some of you may have referred to it enable and now what you're going to do is reboot and that's when the magic happens so reboot it And of course you can feel free to disconnect your cable you no longer need sightseeing okay that is complete let's let's see what happens now all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to forget the wi-fi network just to show you guys that it won't even require wi-fi to set up you can see um, you can even skip it now, skip anyway. Okay, and just like that, we are done. So, um, FRP bypassed on the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. There are again review your settings, but I'd recommend that you turn this back off because obviously. Um, FRP lock is actually there to help reduce theft of your device although there's a way to always bypass FRP no matter what is being done but um, I always recommend keeping this um, turned off because you never know what can ever happen with your device if you want to keep your device protected you can turn this on for extra security but I always recommend keeping it off but um, if you don't want this to happen in future you simply turn on developer options and uh, you enable OEM unlocking simple so anyway guys thank you very much for watching uh, subscribe to my channel and if you like my content ensure that you subscribe of course and like my video share it with others and I will see you in another video